In a charming village nestled between green hills and, there lived a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She was called so because she wore a bright red cloak with a hood that her grandmother had lovingly made for her. Little Red Riding Hood's mother called her into the kitchen. Little Red, she said, your grandmother isn't feeling well. Would you be a dear and take this basket of goodies to her? Little Red Riding Hood's eyes sparkled with excitement. Yes, mother. I'll make sure grandma feels better. With a basket filled with warm bread, ripe fruits, and a jar of honey, Little Red Riding Hood set off through the winding forest path. The birds sang melodies, and the leaves whispered secrets as she ventured into the woods. As she walked, she noticed a fork in the path. One way was wide and bathed in sunlight, while the other was narrower and seemed to disappear into the shadows. Little Red Riding Hood hesitated for a moment before deciding to take the shorter, darker path. Suddenly, a voice interrupted her thoughts. Well, 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 what do we have here? Startled, Little Red Riding Hood turned to see a sly wolf with gleaming eyes. Why, hello, Mr. Wolf, she said politely, trying to hide her nervousness. The wolf smiled, but Little Red Riding Hood noticed his sharp teeth glinting. Where are you off to with such a lovely basket? He asked, I'm the goodies hungrily. I'm going to visit my grandmother. She's feeling unwell, so I'm bringing her some treats, Little Red Riding Hood replied, unaware of the danger lurking behind the wolf's grin. Ah, oh, how kind of you, the wolf said, his voice dripping with deceit. But do you know the quickest way to your grandmother's house? It's through the forest. Follow me, and I'll show you. Trusting the wolf's words, Little Red Riding Hood followed him deeper into the forest. But little did she know, her grandmother's cottage was just around the Little Red Riding Hood's mother called her to the kitchen. My dear, she said, your grandmother isn't feeling well. Would you be a darling and take this basket of treats to her? Little Red Riding Hood's eyes sparkled with excitement. Of course, mother. She exclaimed, accepting the basket filled with freshly baked goodies, juicy fruits, and a jar of golden honey. With the basket in hand and her red cloak adorning her shoulders, Little Red Riding Hood set off on the forest path. The sun danced through the leaves, casting playful shadows on the ground as she hummed a merry tune. As she ventured deeper into the woods, she encountered a fork in the path. One route was wide and bathed in sunlight, while the other was narrow, winding, and shrouded in shadow. Little Red Riding Hood paused, pondering which path to take. Just then, a sly voice interrupted her thoughts. Why? Hello there, Little Red Riding Hood. Startled, Little Red Riding Hood turned to see a cunning wolf with gleaming eyes, his fur as dark as the shadows around them. But the wolf wore a friendly smile, his voice dripping with honeyed words. Where might you be off to with such a delightful basket? The wolf inquired, his eyes fixed on the goodies within. I'm going to visit my grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood replied, her innocence shining through. She's not feeling well, and I'm bringing her some treats to make her feel better. The wolf's smile widened, masking his true intentions. Ah, how thoughtful of you. Tell you what, why don't you take the path through the woods? It's much quicker, and your grandmother will appreciate your swift arrival. Little Red Riding Hood nodded, grateful for the wolf's advice. With a cheerful goodbye, she skipped along the shadowy path, unaware of the danger lurking nearby. Said with a warm smile, your grandmother isn't feeling well. Would you be a dear and take her this basket of goodies? It'll surely bring a smile to her face. Little Red Riding Hood's eyes lit up with excitement. Of course, mother. She exclaimed, eagerly accepting the basket filled with freshly baked bread, plump strawberries, and a jar of honey. With the basket cradled in her arm and her red cloak draped around her shoulders, Little Red Riding Hood set off on the winding forest path. The sun peeked through the emerald canopy, dappling the ground with golden light as birds sang sweet melodies overhead. As she ventured deeper into the woods, Little Red Riding Hood encountered a fork in the path. One trail led straight ahead, bathed in warm sunlight, while the other disappeared into the cool shadows of the forest. Little Red Riding Hood paused, pondering which way to go. Just then, a mischievous voice broke the tranquility of the woods. Well, 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 what do we have here? Startled, Little Red Riding Hood turned to see a sly wolf with gleaming eyes, his fur as dark as the deepest night. But the wolf wore a friendly grin, his tongue lolling out in a seemingly amiable manner. Hello, Mr. Wolf, Little Red Riding Hood greeted politely, though a hint of caution lingered in her voice. The wolf's grin widened, revealing sharp teeth glistening in the sunlight. And where might you be off to, little one, with such a delightful basket? He inquired, eyeing the goodies hungrily. 
I'm on my way to visit my grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood replied, her innocence shining through. She's feeling unwell, so I'm bringing her some treats to cheer her up. The wolf's eyes gleamed with mischief as he formulated a wicked plan. Ah, how thoughtful of you. But my dear, the path through the woods is much quicker. Why don't you take that route? Your grandmother will surely appreciate your swift arrival. Little Red Riding Hood nodded, grateful for the wolf's suggestion. With a cheerful wave, she skipped along the shadowy path, unaware of the danger lurking nearby. Basket of goodies to her to make her feel better. But remember, stay on the path and do not talk to strangers. Of course, mother, Little Red Riding Hood replied. She set off cheerfully into the forest, carrying a basket filled with fresh bread, sweet cakes, and a pot of honey. As she walked through the woods, Little Red Riding Hood enjoyed the sights and sounds of nature. Birds sang in the trees, and flowers bloomed along the path. Suddenly, a big, bad wolf appeared from behind a tree. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf with a sly smile. Where are you off to on this fine day? I'm going to visit my grandmother, who is not feeling well, she replied. I'm bringing her this basket of goodies to cheer her up. The wolf, always looking for a tasty meal, thought to himself, what a delicious feast both Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother will make. He devised a plan to get to the grandmother's house before Little Red Riding Hood. What a kind girl you are, the wolf said. But look at all these beautiful flowers around. Why don't you pick some for your grandmother to make her even happier? Little Red Riding Hood thought this was a wonderful idea. She wandered off the path, picking a bouquet of colorful flowers, while the wolf hurried straight to the grandmother's house. When the wolf arrived, he knocked on the door. Who is it? Called the grandmother from her bed. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf replied, disguising his voice. Come in, dear, said the grandmother. But as soon as the wolf entered, he pounced on her and locked her in the closet. Then he put on one of her nightgowns and caps, and climbed into her bed, pulling the covers up to his chin. A short while later, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandmother's house. She knocked on the door. Who is it? The wolf called out, again pretending to be the grandmother. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, she replied. I've brought you some goodies to make you feel better. Just as the wolf was about to grab Little Red Riding Hood, a woodcutter who had been working nearby heard her screams and rushed into the house. With a mighty swing of his axe, he drove the wolf away, rescuing Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother, who was freed from the closet. Little Red Riding Hood hugged her grandmother tightly. I'm so sorry, grandmother. I should have stayed on the path and not talked to strangers. Her grandmother smiled and said, you're safe now, and that's what matters. But remember, always follow your mother's advice. From that day on, Little Red Riding Hood learned to be more cautious and to always listen to her mother. She and her grandmother lived happily ever after, and the big, bad wolf was never seen again. Little Red Riding Hood's mother called her over and said, Your grandmother is not feeling well. Take this basket of goodies to her to help her feel better. But remember, stay on the path and do not talk to strangers. Of course, mother, Little Red Riding Hood replied. She set off happily into the forest, carrying a basket filled with fresh bread, sweet cakes, and a pot of honey. As she walked along the path, she enjoyed the sounds of the forest, birds singing, leaves rustling, and flowers blooming along the way. Suddenly, a big, bad wolf appeared from behind a tree. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf with a sly smile. Where are you going on this fine day? I'm going to visit my grandmother who is not feeling well, she replied. I'm bringing her this basket of goodies. The wolf entered and, in a flash, gobbled up the old lady. He quickly put on her nightgown and cap and climbed into bed, pulling the covers up to his chin. A short time later, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at the cottage. She knocked on the door. Who is it? Called out the wolf, imitating grandmother's voice. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, she said. I've brought you some treats, grandmother. Come in, dear, said the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood entered and went to the bedside. She was surprised at her grandmother's appearance. Hood, she replied. I've brought you some goodies to help you feel. Come in, dear, the wolf said, trying to sound like the grandmother. Corner. And little did she know, the wolf had other plans in mind. The woodsman escorted Little Red Riding Hood safely back to her village, where she promised never to stray from the path again. And so, Little Red Riding Hood learned to always listen to her mother and be cautious of strangers, ensuring that she and her loved ones lived happily and safely ever after.